Fraternity slash sorority pledges. What was your worst hazing experience? I tried joining a frat my freshman year thinking it would be a good way to make friends and boy was I wrong. On the first night of hell week they set up a line of empty coffee mugs on the floor, pointed at them, and said get in. I said what? They said get tiny and get in there. I didn't understand. They said get tiny and get in there or we're going to taxidermy you. I tried as hard as I could to shrink my body down to 4 inches tall, but I couldn't do it and gave up after 7 hours of trying. They said that it was okay and that we could still be friends even though I did not know how to get tiny but I was too embarrassed. They took a sharpie and wrote the word taxidermy on my bare chest. I guess fraternity life just wasn't for me. A recent study has confirmed that your friends do impressions of you behind your back. Confirming what has been speculated upon for years, a comprehensive new report found that even your closest friends do an annoying little impression of your voice whenever you're not around. And and according to experts, each of your friends participates in mocking your voice and mannerisms, exaggerating them to a degree as to make everyone laugh at your expense. The report describes how often they do it as soon as you are out of earshot, pitching their voices up to sound nasally and annoying to repeat phrases that you just said, like, how are you doing, and where do you want to go to dinner? The report concludes that your friends love making you sound like the dumbest person they've ever met in their entire goddamn lives, and that you are nothing but a laughing stock to them. Texas has launched a new outreach program to provide troubled teens with the assault rifles they desperately need. Governor Greg Abbott announced that starting today, the state will work with local leaders to identify students most at risk of perpetuating violence and pair them with the highest quality semi-automatic rifles money can buy. Texans hope the new policy will help break down the barriers that so many underserved teens face when trying to purchase a firearm, providing them with free target practice, bump stocks, and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. If successful, Abbott signaled that Texas will extend the assault rifle program to troubled children as young as five years old. 